Hi guys, welcome in module 2 of Advanced Excel program 2013 and I'm Sanjay Kumar, your trainer. And in, in the first chapter of module 2, we're going to learn how to use name range in Excel and how to use that in formulas and how to manage them. So here I have open an actual sheet which is small table that has employee name, ID, cell number, salary, commission, and incentive and to using a name range I'm gonna use a, a some formula in this sheet so here you would see that for using some formula we use D2 to D9 as a cell address and instead of this cell address we're going to use here a name range so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on formulas define name and here is the first option define name and we're gonna name it as a salary and we're going to use it for entire workbook instead of sheet 1 or sheet 2 and here's the area that we're going to define so I'm gonna define D2 to D9 enter okay so we have created our first name range and now learn how to use it I'm going back in a formula I'm gonna delete it again I'm going to use some and now instead of giving range I'm gonna type salary and here you would see we have a salary name range populated in drop down you have to select it by pressing tab enter and you would see that you don't have to give the range the name range will do that work the second method of giving name range is to select the area and go here in the left side is it is a name box so you can give any name that you like I'm gonna give Kamish and enter and we have created a name range that called commission and now we're going to call it in our formula we're again going to use some I'm gonna type com to find it yes we got our name range commission I select it press tab and enter and it worked let me show you the third method of defining name range you have to go and click in formulas and here's a name manager you have to click on it and name manager allow you to manage all the names so you can delete or add it as well so I'm gonna click new I'm going to create a new name range incentive I'm going to define reference E F2 to F9 enter okay close and now we can use that name range in our formula now let me show you the fourth method of defining name range that is so quickly you can do that and it is a most advanced one before we do that I'm going to delete the existing name range I'm gonna delete commission I'm gonna delete incentive and I'm gonna delete salary as well these were the three name range that we created and now you would see error in the formula I'm gonna delete them and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select the the name range that I required so I selected column D E and F the entire section I'm gonna go back in formula and here is the option to create from selection the moment you will click it it would give you an option to select the name from top row left column bottom row or right column in our scenario we have names in the top row so we have selected top row and it is, this is the by default option so you have you have to just click on ok so we have created a name range just by a single click and now we can use it I'm gonna show you So here you saw that you found same name range in your formulas. You also call this name range in your formula by going in formulas and here is a use in formula. You have to click on the drop down menu. So I'm gonna select commission and here you see that we also call it. You also can use a reference in your formula and later we can convert that in a name range. So here in this scenario uh, we have a D10 to F10 as our reference here 
and now we're going to convert this reference into name range for doing that we're going to select it and I'm gonna give a new name task name I'm gonna click enter and now to apply that name range into this formula we're going to click on formulas go in define name drop down menu and here's the apply names you have to click on it and here is a task name that we defined for this range so I'm gonna click OK and here you would see the reference is replaced with the defined name the task name that we defined so this is how the name range can be used in Excel 2013 so in next chapter we will learn about advanced filter and please don't forget to subscribe it on YouTube so you can get update on new modules and videos that I will be adding later in this course. So thank you for watching it. We will meet again.